Okay, this is 30th Century Man by Scott Walker. It's got four chords, A, E, D, and G. So I'll, I'll play through it and then I'll show you some of the licks you can do with it. That's basically it. Um, so the, the chord progression for the main part is A, E. So, sorry, it's it's like kind of hanging on the A at first. And then when, when the verse starts, it goes E, E, G, A. So it's hanging on the A quite a bit. Um, and so like I, I just play like a, a bar A. So when I play an A like that, I uh, I try to mute the, the low E with my thumb sort of so that like this, this A is resonating as the root of that chord. And like, I don't worry about letting the, the high E resonate, so. And so with the E, it's obviously fine to let everything ring. And the D, when I play a D like that, I try to mute the the low E because it doesn't like harmonize with the with the D. So you can use your thumb or your index, or I mean, it's not terrible to let it ring, you know. Versus. And so like I like to play. You know, you can just have uh, the high E. You don't have to have the B on the third fret, but I, I just think it sounds better when you have the third fret on there, which is, uh, I guess, a, a D as opposed to a B. Um, so that's the full G three two zero zero three three. So he doesn't do like like I'm doing that like. I mean, you do if like he doesn't actually do that in the song, I don't think. But he, I just like it's a nice bluesy little lick you can do when you're playing an A. And so if you're muting it, you get um, all I'm doing is bending the third fret on the E. And you just you just kind of release it when you strum the second time. So. When, when you're kind of muting like this, you can, it doesn't, it, it's not like a precise, it's just, just imprecise type of strum, and you know, so that's one little lick you can do, and when you can do the, um, on the D, you can do a couple of things, you can go like, You can do like a little um, three two zero on the high E string. And like, I like to have my, you know, your ring finger right there because then when you switch to the G, you don't have to move your ring finger at all. You can. And 
so that uh, that lick I'm doing on the G is just um, set a hammer on on the second fret of the A string, and then you hit the D string open, and then when you switch to the A, you you hit, you hit the A open, and you're like you just hit the root note of that chord. So like. So um, the strumming, uh, I'll, I'll play it through the, the strumming kind of slow. Like it, was, it has a lot of, uh, you know, character to the strum. But you know, when you're when you're just learning it, just practice like the chords, and don't worry about the rhythm of the right hand. Just like. whatever you want to do like but make sure that you get the chord progression down and then you can start to Definitely on the first time he goes through, he doesn't do any licks on the A. Like he just going So to, I'll show you that like the strumming kind of slowly now. One thing like sometimes like when you're playing rhythm you can just like have your rear wrist floating when you're, when you're strumming like that and then if you need to do the lick like when I'm hit that G lick I'll anchor my wrist and then when after you hit that A you're you can let your wrist float again and you're back to strumming so it's like you're going from playing rhythm with your wrist floating and then you do one like precise lick so so coming from the d it'll be just like you can just get your extra precision by anchoring your wrist and then let it float again so like for that g you don't really need the precision to do that because it's just on the low string so um <clears throat> the only other thing i should point out is that um so the, the main riff of the verse is that e d g a progression but when you do uh kind of the refrain it just goes e g a back to g back to a so that's the you can freeze like a 30th century man that's the um it it just goes straight from the e to the g instead of e to d right there so playing through it it'll go
so you know I, I don't want to overdo it this it's a pretty simple song you know first per first position good jam and tune four chords just got to get the rhythm going however you want to do it <laughs> 